What's up everyone, it's your rifle here, and thanks for checking out this Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 video. If you like secrets, well then you came to the right video. Get prepared to find a secret place, with a secret room, with another secret room, that leads to a grand prize secret room. I guess that best explains this secret. First off, you have to collect 54 golden gnomes if you want to enter all of these secret rooms, inside this secret place. Man, I keep saying secret. Let's just say this place is very secretive. I will be creating an easy guide to follow to collect those golden and gnomes soon, but for now I want to show you all this huge secret and also break it down for y'all. First off, you only have to collect 10 I believe in order to get this phone call randomly out in the open at this area. They will give you a key to enter in the no man's land, which that'll give you an achievement, trophy, whatever you're playing on, it'll give you something special when you enter into this area. And this will be the first secret place of all these secrets in this area. You have to take this gnome bomb down into the sewers and plant it outside the gate right before the gnome target practice area. This once again will take you inside the gnome man's land and it looks freaking awesome in here. And also you can collect some nice loot down here as well from the chest, but in order to get the real goodies that add up to a lot, I mean you'll at least get over 500,000 coins. I know for sure you get two 250,000 coins out of two of the chests. So yeah, just keep that in mind. And also a lot of other awesome stuff. You have to once again collect 54 golden gnomes though to enter that area with those goodies. Which can be a real pain, I'm not going to lie, and time consuming. So be prepared for that journey. Make sure you have some time to spare to collect them. Let me just say that much. Anyways, once you've collected them, a cutscene will pop up when you enter this place. And a door behind the giant golden gnome with a hammer will open. In front of that gnome is a 200 star chest as well. I'm not exactly sure what is in this, but it is speculated that there is a crown inside here you can get. But who knows what's in it for sure. Anyways, in the door that opened will be even more loot to grab. A thinking of brain statue, 100,000 coins will be in this chest, so now that I'm looking back on this, I got way more than 500,000 coins. So there's some pretty promising news for you guys. If you thought 500,000 was a lot, well then you're going to be getting a little over 600,000, hey maybe even 700,000, who knows how much you'll end up getting at the end of this. I just already had a lot of coins before I entered this place so I can't give you guys an exact number but I know you get plenty. Literally I think the secrets in this no man's land are the biggest treasure rooms in the game. And lastly you'll get a bonsai tree as well. But there is more than meets the eye to this location. If you look above the door, you will find a switch that you can hit, and this will unlock another secret room, which this is leading you guys to the grand prize room. In here, though, will be a puzzle, and also not to mention, when you first enter this place, you can find a snow globe to the right. So yeah, guys, keep that in mind. Anyways, you're going to have to enter a certain combination to open this door, of course. So let me go ahead and backtrack a little bit here for you guys and explain how this code was even cracked to open this door. It's pretty sweet. That's why I want to show you guys. First off, if you go back into the room where the giant golden gnome with the hammer is standing in the middle, if you look up, you will notice a bunch of Roman numerals with symbols next to them. Those symbols are also seen on the door, so those are actually up there for a reason. But at the gnome target place in the second target area, there is a secret room with a chest which I've shown in a previous video, but that's not the important part here. Behind this chest are symbols, and these symbols are actually star constellations in the night sky on the game. As you can see, they are above us in a specific pattern. And if you go down into the secret room, which pretty much everyone knows about in the game, right next to the known target practice area, you know, the secret room that looks pretty identical to Fable 3, yeah, that one, it has a mini three-dimensional model of the battlefield in the middle. And above this model are the same symbols on the door that needs a combination. So on that note, in here was the actual way of figuring out this combination. As you saw there were four star constellation patterns. And there are four symbols you need to enter the door. Yeah, there's a brief explanation for y'all on how the code was even cracked. So for the combination on this door to, you know, get inside, first off you want to go to the watering pot, and then to the left to the flamingo, and then from there you want to go back over to the right side and go to the picket fence. And lastly, the garden pot. And in case you guys want to know how to use these levers, the right lever makes the arrow move right, and same goes for the left side. The left lever will make the arrow move left, and once again the middle will lock the arrow on where you want it to stay. So once again, when you enter the watering pot, flamingo, 
picket fence, and garden pots, you should get a cutscene of the door opening. Now, this is where that big old smile should be on your face. After collecting those 54 golden gnomes, guys, you should be excited entering into this room. You should be like, yeah, that's right. I'm about to get all this treasure, and I'm about to go blow it or do something with it. Just think about the possibilities. You'll be able to buy tons of stuff once you go in here, and not to mention, you get some pretty cool things, such as this gnome in the middle playing a little bit of music for us. I'm a gnome, yes I am a gnome. On the lawn with my fawn and my fawn, yeah. I'm a gnome, I'm a garden gnome. The lack of being real is the source of my appeal. I'm a gnome, I'm a fighting gnome. Protecting my home. I don't know if the music that this gnome is playing hints at another secret or something, but I do know you get some special goggles out of one of these chests. And not to mention, like I was mentioning before, tons of great loot, like this King Gnomus Rhine, and this King Gnome Guard, and not to mention two 250,000 coin chests, and like I was just mentioning before, the special goggles, which are called the Gnomish Perspective. And I actually believe that this will lead on to another secret. What that secret will be, I don't quite know yet. I haven't really hunted around with these goggles on, but I do know you can see differently with these on, and these can be equipped with any character. Not just zombies, or not just plants. It can be equipped with anybody. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It helps you see things a little easier in my opinion, and not to mention, it's in a gnome's perspective, which once again, I have a good feeling that this is going to lead to another secret. What that secret will be, I don't quite know yet. Who knows, it may be nothing, it's just speculation. But I guess that's about wrapping up this video, everyone. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed these secrets that I showed off in this video to you all. As always, though, like I do with all my videos, I'm going to leave a friendly reminder for all you all to remember to leave a like. It's greatly appreciated, everyone. The continued support continues to help my channel rise, and for that, I can't thank you all enough. It's much appreciated. But hey, you are entitled to dislike or do nothing with the video. The power is within your fingertips. But this has been your rifle, and thanks for watching, everybody. Hope we all enjoyed this huge secret in the game. And remember to stay safe out there, everyone. And of course, if you haven't, stick around and subscribe for more content like this. Hopefully, see you around in my next video. Peace.